homework is too much homework for my child? This is a question that I get asked often. The question is somewhere along the lines of, I think some homework is good for my kid. I just don't want them to be overwhelmed and driven to tears. So how do I know when how much homework is too much homework for my kid? How do I know when I've passed that tipping point from it becoming beneficial to it becoming downright damaging? And there's several ideas that I'd like to share with you today. Answers to questions and more. I'd like to look at how much is too much. When do I contact the teacher and what do I say? How do I know if my kid is being lazy or if the subject is too hard? And finally, when is there time for us to be a family and for my kid to be a kid? I have three easy and realistic steps to go over with you. First, we're going to look at how we can gather some intel and the kinds of questions that we're going to ask. We want to make sure that we are utilizing the best homework practices. And then when it is time to contact the teacher, what we need to do and how we need to say it. So when we're looking to gather intel, what does that look like? Well, we want to make sure that the homework policy, uh, there can be a district policy, a school policy, it's usually found online. What's the expected amount for each grade level and is your teacher operating within that window? Does the school follow the district policy? Does the teacher follow the school policy? We also want to talk to some other parents. Not that we want to ambush or bad talk the teacher, but we're just trying to get a sense. We're looking to kind of put our finger in the wind. Is my kid doing more homework or spending more time on the homework than the other kids? And why might that be? So we want to make sure that we're coming with as open a perspective as possible. Next, we want to look at some best homework practices. Some of these are tried and true. There's others listed on the website, but this is something I find a lot of families haven't tried intuitively, but it really can make a difference. And that's when we let the child become the empowered with the homework time. So let your kid choose the time and place to complete the homework. You take away the distractions, but you let him know where it's going to take place. So age appropriate, your kid might come up with a plan where he's gonna do his math, his English, take a break, then he shows it to you, then he gets free time for 20 minutes. This helps because it empowers that kid, it doesn't become a battle, you're the coach and monitor, your lim limited role is reminding and redirecting. This way homework doesn't just become about doing and completing assignments. There's that other layer where it teaches self-discipline, time management, and organization. So let your child benefit from these skills. Let your child benefit from ownership and empowerment. This mindset will lessen the idea that homework is a battle that you have to constantly oversee, but that your child has choices. Where is the homework going to be done? When are you going to start the homework? How much time are you spending on each subject? Let your child have those choices. Let it become something your child makes is manageable. You might even be surprised some of the choices that your child makes. As with any habit or when you're restructuring things, if you haven't started this at the beginning of the school year, give it two to three weeks to, to set into place. Let your child learn from his failures or her failures and let your child decide, gosh, I need to spend less time on math or I should get my English done first or maybe I should end with my English because I enjoy reading. Uh, let your child kind of feel his or her way through what homework is going to look like. I have a lot more ideas to share with you. Um, can't do all of them here, but if you go to the blog educationq-a, you'll find some other tips and a little bit more information about that homework plan. So we've tried, we've gathered some intel, we found out that yes, uh, your child is actually spending a little more homework time than the other kids. You've tried the best practices, we're still struggling, we're still having some tear-filled nights uh, at the dinner table there or on the way to soccer practice when maybe they're stressed out because they know they're going to come home and have so much more homework. Uh, I have a draft of an email that's easy to cut, paste, and customize to the teacher. Uh, but here are some of the questions that you're going to ask, whether you're doing it in a phone call, a meeting, or uh, in an email. Uh, does your child have any time in class to begin or 
his or her homework? Does your child have time in class to ask questions? Are they using that time class, that class time wisely? Um, what about the homework problems? Are they reinforcing skills or is it new material? That might give you a better gauge of why some of this is more difficult than others. Uh, ask the teacher, do they offer time before school, at lunch, after school for students who need help with their homework? And ask the teacher, do you have any additional strategies or resources to help with that uh, homework completion? I uh, hope I gave you some ideas that will be helpful because at the end of the day, uh, we know that we want to make sure we are celebrating the whole child and that we are having some family time and some fun time because if it's just schoolwork from sunrise to sunset, uh, that's not going to make for a healthy child, certainly uh, not in the short run and not in the long run. Thank you so much. and.